What's up, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your girl, Gracie, and I'm back with another video, <laughs> guys. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And most importantly, y'all, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell. So that way you, 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 you can be notified every time your girl upload a video. So, y'all, by that title, by that thumbnail, y'all already know what's finna go down. Like, y'all know what's finna go down today. So, today, um, by that title and that thumbnail so today i will be doing 10 things i cannot live without like oh my gosh like it's not so dramatic or whatever but these i got 10 things written down 10 things i cannot live without so you guys you guys comment down below and you guys comment a few things that you cannot live without and please don't say cell phones y'all please don't say cell phones but anyways you guys i'm not gonna ramble too much we're just gonna get right into this video Okay, you guys, so we're going to get into this video. So number one is, and I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this. So number one is my son. I cannot live without my son. I don't even know how life will be if something to ever happen to my son. I don't even like talking about topics like this because it kind of like hurts you just to think about this. Because, you know, a lot of people already been through stuff like this. But I know a lot of people deal with different things in a different way. So number one is my son. I don't know how, how, how... I, I don't know. So we're just going to go into uh, number two because I don't want to talk about that topic too much because it kind of like my dog is messing up my pillows back here. But number two is personal hygiene products. Now, I feel like I can't live without personal hygiene products is because first of all, I need my deodorant. Second of all, I need to take a shower. I need my soap. I need my, uh, I need my soap. I need my water. I need my toothpaste. I need all that stuff to keep me happy to keep me to keep my body healthy so i feel like i can't live without that stuff and i don't know who could you know what i'm saying um i don't know so if, if we really had to do life with like with no, with nothing i probably would go crazy but I, I would know it's something that we have to do to survive but personal hygiene things i don't know because who want to walk around here smelling like onions pickles ass who wants that nobody you feel me so i feel like I can't live without personal hygiene products. Okay, so number three is water. Now, I say I can't live without water because I know you need water to, to survive. You need water to keep your body healthy, to keep your, your blood pumping. You need water. You need water. And that's one thing I need to work on because I don't drink a lot of water like I should. But that's something I need to work on is drinking water. I probably drink probably like two bottles of water a day, if that. Maybe not even that. Or I can go a day without drinking no water. I would just drink pop and stuff like that. But that's something I just need to, you know, cut, cut a little bit. But I know we need water to survive. We need water to take our showers. We need water to wash our ass. We need water to drink, to stay healthy. Uh, even newborn babies need water in their bottles to go with their formula to drink, right? So we can't live without water. I cannot live without water. And I'm sure a lot of y'all can't live without water as well. So, um, and number four, excuse me, number four is food. I don't see how y'all can live without food. And I already know y'all, y'all out there looking all looking like skinny and models and shit like that. I, I know y'all secret. I know y'all secret. Y'all love to eat. We all love to eat. We females, we love to eat. Female guys, we love to eat. And we get pissed off if we don't get what we want. And we get pissed off if we hungry, we can't eat right away. We get pissed off and I can admit it. I'm one of those. Like, I would get an attitude if I'm hungry. Like, if I'm hungry, I want to eat. Now, if I want to go to get some food out to eat and I don't have money, I have a little attitude for a little bit. But then I know I'm like, okay, you got food in the house. Go cook something. And so that's what I would do. So I think food is important for everybody because we all need food, just like we all need water to survive, okay? Um... You just need, and I'm pretty sure y'all seen the show called Naked and Afraid, where you got to go out there in the wild with nothing, no clothes, no nothing, nothing. And you got to learn how to survive. I don't know how I would do that because I don't like insects. I don't like bugs. I don't like big animals. I don't like none of that. Um, and I can't run that fast. So yeah, I think you need food to survive. And I know a lot of people can go hunting for food and things like that, but that's not for me. But if I had to do it, if that was, if I had to do it, I would, but I feel like I cannot live without food. And I feel like a lot of people cannot live without food because you need food to keep your body 
healthy to keep your body moving because if you don't have food you know your body just go into you know like this depression mode and it's just lazy and just no energy no nothing you feel me so i feel like food is very important now number five um a lot of y'all have y'all different beliefs and what y'all believe in but i feel like i cannot live without god okay so why i say that is because without god in your life, your life is just going to be in shambles. And I'm just going to say that. And I feel like praying, praying, praying is a lot. Praying is good for you to keep your day going, to keep your, to keep your mental health going. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like God is very important. If, if you don't have God in your life, if you don't pray, if you don't just sit down sometime, take two seconds out your day and talk to God, vent to God and things like that, your life is never going to be right. It's, I'm just going to say that right now. Now, a lot of people might say they don't believe in God. They don't believe in this and that. But at the same time, this is my video. And I feel like um, for number five, God is very, very important in my life. Because there's times where I just break down and cry and I don't have nobody to talk to and things like that. Because I hardly have friends. I hardly have, you know, family that I can just go to and just talk to on a daily basis. So, you know, so I feel like me... And my relationship with God is very important. So I feel like if without God, I don't know how, how I would be making it out here. I'd just be a walking zombie. Okay, so number six, I feel like family is very important. Family is very important. And I know a lot of people are probably going to say something about this one as well. Because, you know, family can fuck you over. Friends can fuck you over. Everybody can fuck you over. But I feel like that one family member that you just feel like you can vent to and that you close to, that you can cry on their shoulder, talk to them about anything. I feel like that's important because you don't have family. Suppose you don't have family and friends. Then what? It's just I just feel like you would just be stuck in a hole, a dark hole. Like, you'd just be stuck in you would be numb to the world. Like, I just feel like you just need somebody to talk to, you know, that's in, like, in the center. Like, you you need family. You need love. You need attention. You just need family. So, I feel like number six is a very important. It's family. Now, number seven, y'all might try to come for me for this one, but I feel like I cannot live without bonnets. I can't live without bonnets, okay? Because I don't I don't have a lot of money. I can't get my hair done every day. Yes, I do hair, but when I do my own hair, it don't come out how I do somebody else's hair. So I think bonnets is really, really important for me to have in my wardrobe. I have a lot of bonnets, okay? These bonnets right here is reversible or whatever. So yes, you guys, and I ordered on Amazon. I have a lot of bonnets. I think bonnets is important. If y'all can see what's under this bonnet, y'all probably be like, girl, what is you doing? What is you doing with yourself? So, um, I feel like bonnets is really important to me because I don't, I don't get my hair done a lot. I can't do my own hair, but I can, I can nail somebody else's hair, but, uh, me doing my hair, no. So that's why I think bonnets is important for me because I don't, I don't get my hair done as often as I should. So y'all comment down below if y'all think this is a corny one that you can't live without. Cause I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that can't live without cell phones. How you can't live without a cell phone? At, at at a point in time, there was no cell phones. Not saying I'm that old, you feel me? But there was a point where you had to, you know, there was a point where there was no social media. You know what I'm saying? There was a point where there was no computers. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know. So if y'all think this is corny, I can't live without bonnets. I don't know because they're probably like, well, you can always have somebody else do your hair. You can always put a wig on, but all that stuff costs money, right? But anyway, so. Number eight. Now, number eight, y'all probably gonna come for me for this one too. So I'm probably say this about all of them. But number eight, I cannot live without a mirror. Okay, I love being in the mirror. Y'all might love being in the mirror. I'm not saying I'm conceited, but sometimes you just you just want to look in the mirror and acknowledge yourself. Like, look how beautiful I am. I'm black and I'm beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's it's good to look in the mirror, talk to yourself sometimes. I'm saying talk to yourself is normal, but sometimes it is good to talk to yourself, to tell yourself how beautiful you are. And, you know, just look in the mirror and just love yourself. Hug yourself sometimes in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like number eight is important. And that is mirrors to me in my life. Like, I don't know suppose just walking around if there was no mirrors on this planet how 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 would we know how we look but we just take pictures in our phone suppose there was no phones we wouldn't even know how we look you know what i'm saying so how will we describe ourselves when we don't even know how we look that's why i'm saying mirrors are important so okay number nine number nine is important to me because number nine is music 
And I feel like music is important to me because sometimes when I'm stressing or if I'm upset about something, I can just listen to some music, put my headphones in and listen to music. Now, if I'm mad about something else, y'all comment down below. Have y'all ever got mad at y'all spouse or y'all boyfriend or whatever and y'all in the car and you just start playing music to get them to feel like, we, yeah, we throwing this song to you. Like, this this song is for you. I, I, I Y'all can't come to me and say y'all haven't because I, I know y'all did. I know y'all did. Like, come on now. You don't got to lie. What they going to do to us? I'm just playing. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of y'all that have done that. So to me, for number nine, music is very, very important in my life because I just feel like without music, because I listen to a lot of gospel music, I feel like without music in your life, I don't know, because there's a lot of people that don't like music, loud music or music, period. But me, if I'm pissed off, stressed, pop those headphones in, get the vibe in, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like ease your mind, ease your pain a little bit. It kind of like bring you down a little bit and you don't be as stressed. I don't, I can't talk for everybody, but I know that's what happens to me. Okay, so number 10 is, now, number 10 is just for me because, okay, so number 10 is I cannot live without fans. Okay, because I'm a hot person. I'm all, I'm always hot. Like, for real, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm always hot. Like, when I used to live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, when it was snow outside, I had to sleep with the window open. I had to have that fresh breeze. Like, I have to. Like, now I live in Arizona, so it's completely, completely different from Indiana. It don't snow up here. It's snow in Flagstaff and other parts, but Phoenix, where I'm at, we don't get no snow. So, when it starts getting cooler outside, we be hype. Like, up, up here, we get hype. Like, like today, it's in the 70s. That feel good to me because we always in the hundreds and something degrees. Like, what? So, I still sleep with my, my fan in my window to get that breeze, to get that fresh breeze. And in the morning, it'd be a little little cold, but I'm not going to complain that it's cold because we had a rough summer. It was so hot this summer. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. And, then, and then the AC in my room don't even work as good. So, now that we got this cool air and I got my fan in the window... We busting in here. Like, I, I love it. I love the fresh breeze. So, I cannot live without fans. I don't know about y'all. So, these are the 10 things that I cannot live without. You guys comment down below and let me know a few things that you guys cannot live without. And comment down below if you think mine is stupid or whatever or someone that you can relate to. Comment down below. Put it in my conversation. But until then, y'all, stay tuned for this next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, peace out.